Brightest blessings, everyone. It's Tess Whitehurst, and it is the week of Beltane. Beltane, you guys. So it's a pagan holiday, an ancient holiday. And as you may know, Beltane is halfway across the wheel of the year from Samhain, also known as Halloween. So it's the polarity of Samhain. During Samhain, we celebrate death. And during Beltane, we celebrate life and being alive. So looking for things, it's important for you to look for things that bring you joy during Beltane, for us to look for joy, for us to look for things to laugh about, to enjoy the fleeting things in the moment, laughing with a loved one, a, a scent of a flower, uh, the way sunlight looks on moving leaves and the sound of leaves, things just really tapping into joy. So to look deeply at um, or, or to shift patterns that keep us from joy, this is an aspect of the magical spiritual path, is to continuously open up more and more our capacity for everyday joy and Beltane supports that. So if you have a pattern of worrying, if you have a pattern like I did today of being in your to-do list, what are all the things I have to do? You know, and, and kind of like losing sight of the moment when you're in that to-do list energy and or feeling like you have to figure everything out before you can feel comfortable enough to feel joy because you'll never figure everything out. The mystery is much too deep for that, which is actually a beautiful thing and can be a window into joy. And then the other thing to look for is when you postpone your joy. Like I will feel happy or I would feel happy if I could lose this weight or if I could make this amount of money or if I could have a partner, you know, a life partner, then I would feel joy. You know, to notice that, that that's keeping you from this moment, this present moment, this only moment, there's only one. So to find ways to tap into that and experience present moment joy and to open up to everything, including grief, right? Both Samhain and Beltane, both polarities, feeling the grief of the fleeting nature of the things that we love allows us to also feel the love and the joy. That's the preciousness, that's the preciousness of life that we know that we don't know how long our life or other people's lives or animals' lives are going to be. So that's actually a blessing and that's that polarity. Everything contains its opposite that allows us to go fully into joy. So a little story for you about me and joy today. Like I mentioned, I was in the to-do list energy. Oh, I have all these things to do. Why are they taking so long? And one of them was to make banana nut muffins because, you know, when your your bananas are really old and it's like they're the perfect for baking, but it's like you got to do it right away. I was having that with my banana nut muffin situation. <laughs> so I baked them and I remembered how much I love baking and I went into the moment with it, the smell of it, the joy of it. And I have a visual aid for you. Here are my banana nut muffins and I will put a recipe for them underneath this video on my website in case baking banana nut muffins will also bring you joy. I'll also put a link to my kitchen witchery video so you can empower them with the energy of joy, which you can then internalize when you eat them um, and share that joy with others too. One other thing before you go, um, I just started a podcast with my friend Natasha. And so you, we talk in greater depth about this exact topic, belting and joy and also fairies in the latest edition of the latest episode of the Magic Monday podcast. So I'll put a link to that as well in this post on my website, which in case you're on YouTube is tesswhitehurst.com. So thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful, joy-filled belting. Mm -hmm.